and everybody is here rehearsing like as if tomorrow does not exist and i feel so or serious being that i'm vlogging right now you, ju you just need to see look at that guy over there all half sad everybody's just looking so serious hey guys welcome back to the channel as you can see first of all i look absolutely exhausted this is like 7 30 this is about 7 35 pm and i'm absolutely exhausted um we just finished the third day um, of our boot camp for the orators competition so i just said oh let me carry you guys along depending on how this competition goes so i applied for a competition about two weeks ago sometime in june and it's called the orators competition for public speaking it's a public speaking competition organized by we inspire africa we inspire africa is a non-governmental organization that seeks to like empower african youths you know for economic development helping them realize their full potential and all that good stuff so i think this is like a made in edition the first of its kind and somebody just sent me the flyer and i just said okay let me go for it I actually sensed a leading from god to go for it i applied for it and by the grace of god i made it through the audition i've made it through the semi-finals and now we are at the we're currently at the semi-finals right we've had three a three-day boot camp the first day we had a two minute presentation the second day we also had a two minute presentation and today we also have we also had a two minute presentation where every single contestant would give their speech and i gave mine today but somehow i feel like the speech i gave yesterday was better than the one i gave today for some reasons i don't even understand but i'm just trusting god because today and yesterday's performance will most likely determine if i'll make it to the grand finale the grand finale will be in lagos by god's grace and i'm really trusting god that i make it through this competition i just want to go to lagos at least let me go and sleep in my house or my bed even if it's for a night something i'm looking so stressed out and then juggling this competition with school work has not been so easy but i really really thank god imagine me preparing my speech um for today's presentation by 5 a.m it has just been so stressful for me but i thank god for the grace so keep watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and please watch this video till the very end you will learn a thing or two from this video hey guys hey guys quick gist quick gist today is monday and you know when i made that video on friday night they didn't get back to us that friday they didn't get back to us on saturday they didn't get back to us on sunday so they just got back to us this morning that we'll be having a meeting on zoom around three and so i'm currently in chapel we're having the zoom meeting i just left quickly to to make this video so guys i'll be going to lagos um four four people were actually disqualified not disqualified let's just say knocked out so now they are doing like a head-to-head -head debate in order for them to put him back one person so out of those four people only one person would make it to lagos but i wasn't disqualified at all so i'll be going to lagos at the venue i know i didn't tell you guys that I was coming but today is the competition for 
the orators and I'm at the venue at Victoria Island and everybody is here rehearsing like as if tomorrow does not exist and I feel so yeah. serious being that I'm vlogging right now you just, you just need to see look at that girl right there all have sad everybody's just looking so serious like I'm not understanding nobody's smiling with me I need to get back now to start rehearsing my speech wish me best of luck I really don't know what to expect hi it's so exciting to meet people that we've been seeing over Zoom. Good to see you. <laughs> Everybody is so serious right now. Like later, I will show you guys my dress after this competition. But right now, I need to go. This is what this place looks like. This is VI parking. Is it parking hotels now? Tosi, Tosi, looking all serious. So you do not return with it all, and you decide to stay on the jubilee trip. The judges, co debaters, audience, I am titting up my balikizi brain. The late speaker for Team A. For over two weeks, my mom had sleepless nights. She was working, making researches, and doing a lot of things to ensure that she put in her best to deliver excellently. And yes, I was afraid that she did. But on the day for the promotion, the boss called a Mr. Sam, who began the task but didn't finish it. And he promoted him to the position of a research manager. And my mom, who did the task excellently, was to be his assistant. In every feminism discourse, the word agenda has always come up. Feminism is an agenda of gender war. Feminism has reduced women to an agenda which they must conform to, irrespective of their social or their cultural background. They are stripped of their individuality, are said to be guilty until proven innocent, and women, they are said to be innocent until proven guilty. This is double standard for me. One of such cases that I can remember clearly was the case of Sylvie Davis, an up and coming actress, which was reported by the Punch newspaper on 12th of June 2020. Sylvie Davis accused FC Galaxy, a Nigerian artist, of rape. But however, few days later, she came to rebuild that again, that she was just trying to chase cheap attention. Can you imagine? Well, first, my name is Fibo Chibo, and I'm standing here to propose the motion we say that Africa is more innovative than the West. Hi guys, so I'm currently editing this video and I thought to chip this in. First of all, the other team actually won the debate. That's the one where I was um, I was supposed to speak. And then second of all, I could not record myself speaking because my phone storage became very insufficient at the point where I was about to speak. So the person that was helping me record, shout out to Veronica, wasn't able to record me while I was speaking. So I did not even get any recording for my speech. And I don't know how I'm going to start reaching out to all the contestants to say, oh, did anybody get a video recording of me and all that? I'm not sure. I'm ready to go through that stress anytime soon. So I'm so sorry you guys will not be able to see where I was speaking. For, the, for this competition but i will still make a separate video where i share the testimony and the process of the competition the debates the structure of the competition how i actually still made it to my solo speech even after losing in the debates right that was just a testimony for me and i'll share that in another video hopefully by then i would have gotten a recording of my speech or my debates thank you guys as you keep watching till the very end <laughs> She never the value of being in Nigeria. Oh, don't people go value in Nigeria? Oh, are you Ghanaians that refuse to go to Ghana? Let me say Ghana must go. Are you Ghanaians? <laughs> what do you have to say? Thank you. It's good to trust God. Please make sure you stay to the end, otherwise you miss your refreshment. It's intentional to leave the refreshment on Okay, my gift is going. Counting.
that smile, give me that smile. Hey, let me come. This is going on my status. Bye. <laughs> Veronica in the building. Veronica came to support me. Well, Veronica is my sister from another mother. In case I've not talked about her on this channel, she has been an amazing Mommy. friend. She just came to, oh my god, she came to really, really support me right here. So we're leaving the venue now. This is the venue here. And I guess you guys enjoyed this video basically. I didn't win a return of the year, but <laughs> I won the award of the judges' choice. And she has eaten everything they gave her. <laughs> no, no, not everything. I still have the drink and you know the sweets. No matter. She ate everything they gave her. <laughs> but I'm so grateful, guys. I'm really, really excited. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. We inspire Africa for organizing this. Thank you so, so much for thank you for this opportunity. Like I can say that even if I didn't win this competition, it was definitely, definitely worth it. Coming from school, I mean. This